You've probably heard people argue over K to walk ratio or ERA, but what if I told you there's a better stat that cuts through all of that noise? The stat is called CSW percentage, or called strikes plus whiffs, and it's quickly becoming one of the best tools for evaluating pitchers across all levels. It's clean, it's predictive, and unlike some pitching stats, it doesn't rely on defense or luck. In this video, we'll break down what CSW percentage is, why it matters more than most stats you've heard before, and how you can use it to spot breakout arms before anyone else. Let's start simple. The benefit of this stat is that it is both simple to calculate and incredibly accurate at measuring a pitcher's abilities. That calculation is just called strikes plus whiffs divided by the total number of pitches thrown. Every single pitch a pitcher throws falls into one of a few buckets. It could be a called strike, a swinging strike, a foul ball, a ball or hit by pitch, or a ball in play. I know, the game can get complicated, but other than a few other rare events, like a catcher's interference, that's it. TSW focuses on the two outcomes that are pretty universal when it comes to evaluating a positive outcome for a pitcher. Getting a hitter to freeze, or getting them to swing and miss. That's it. No luck, no bloop singles, and no bad defense. Just pure pitching effectiveness. Now, K to walk ratio has been a solid go-to for a while. It tells us if a pitcher misses bats and avoids walks, but it's slow to stabilize and doesn't give you pitch by pitch insight. CSW percentage on the other hand, works with a smaller sample size, even just within a single outing. It shows how nasty a pitcher's stuff is and how well they command it. And it isn't tied to innings or decisions, perfect for relievers and openers too. You can think of it this way, K to walk ratio measures the result while CSW percentage measures the process. CSW percentage is a simple way to evaluate the effectiveness of a pitcher or pitches within that pitcher's arsenal. If a pitcher's slider has a league-leading CSW percentage and their fastball is much below average, from a coaching standpoint, you either need to address why that pitch isn't performing or throw the better one more. And if you're looking for the next best swing and miss pitch, odds are you'd look great in one of our new hats. We've got two new styles over on the shop tab on the channel or the Simple Sabermetrics website linked below. Go check it out and get one for yourself today. So what is a good CSW percentage? Here's what the numbers mean. Around 25% and below is going to be below average. 27 to 29% is solid, 30 to 32% is strong, and 32% and above is elite. If you find a 35% or above pitch, you might be watching Spencer Strider or Jacob deGrom. Not only does CSW percentage track closely with strikeout rate, it also helps identify guys with elite pitch shapes or deception, because if the pitch is good, those results will follow. If you don't have access to building out your own Stuff Plus model, and you can check out our video on why it's one of the best new stats out here, tracking this stat aligns well with identifying pitch quality based on its results. So let's take a look into some real world examples. By comparing two pitchers. Pitcher A has a 310 ERA and a 25.5 CSW, and pitcher B has a 3.4 ERA with a 33% CSW. The ERA says that they're close. CSW says that one guy is dominating the zone and the other is skating by on contact. C percentage can expose overperformers and highlight breakout candidates who are getting unlucky. It also works great for relievers who may throw 10 to 20 pitches a night. K to walk ratio doesn't help you there in that small of a sample size, but CSW percentage can. One of the best things about CSW percentage, you can look at it pitch by pitch. Want to know how effective a guy's slider is? Look at its CSW percentage. Want to compare two different pitch shapes? CSW percentage is going to give you the answer. You want to design a new pitch? CSW percentage tells you if it's working or not. Elite CSW percentage pitches typically coincide with what we are seeing in our Stuff Plus calculations. Pitches like four seamers with elite ride, high whiff sweepers and splitters, and curveballs that steal strikes early in the count all grade out well in pitch quality readings, and that almost always has the CSW percentage to back it up. So how can this be used in player development and scouting? MLB teams and college programs are now using CSW percentage in scrimmages and inner squads 
to help determine if the work they've been doing in the pen is translating into the game. Summer Leagues and Transfer Portal to help identify outliers and see if a pitcher could be even better with only a change in their pitch usage. And of course, the Minor Leagues to help determine if a guy is ready to be moved up. If you've got a high CSW percentage and a high Stuff Plus, that's the fast track to getting noticed. Let's dive into some practical uses for fans and coaches. You can use CSW percentage to track a pitcher's performance from start to start, evaluate bullpen arms without looking at ERA, and spot undervalued fantasy arms or breakout college guys. Want to see it in action? Head over to sites like Baseball Savant or Fangraphs, click on any game, and sort the pitch data by CSW. It'll tell you who really had their best stuff each day. CSW percentage is fast, predictive, and brutally honest. It doesn't care about luck. It doesn't care about win-loss records. It just shows you who can get out one pitch at a time. So next time you're watching a game, ask yourself, how many called strikes and whiffs is this guy getting? Because that, right there, is where modern dominance begins. And if you're into stats like this, check out the video on the end screen next. Or click the link to grab one of our new hats and tell the world you're all about making data-driven decisions. I'll see you next week right here on Simple Saber Metrics.